Hey everyone, I'm Asha Robles, and here's what happened this week on Trend Spotting. The search for 15 year old Xavier Akima came to a tragic end on Monday, August 13th, as his body was recovered approximately a mile and a half inland from the Pago Bay Bridge. The autopsy results showed that Akima drowned, with the manner of his death being ruled accidental. The teen was separated from his hiking group on Saturday when heavy rains turned into flash flooding and swept him away. The Father Duenas Memorial community and his family and friends have been in mourning. The teen's father, Andrew, issued a statement to KUAM saying, quote, Thank you everyone for your heartfelt prayers. It is with a heavy heart to let you all know that my son was recovered. Unfortunately, for us not to spend another day of laughter holding him and just telling him we love him. End quote. From everyone at KUAM, we send our deepest condolences to the Akima family and everyone who knew Xavier. Here's how some of our viewers expressed their condolences. Sworn to protect and serve for more than two decades, Dennis Anthony Kanga Santos found himself spending nearly an entire day in DOC custody. Santos, a GPD police officer, is charged with four counts of vehicular negligence, three counts of driving while impaired with a child on board, driving while impaired as a misdemeanor, and reckless driving with property damage. Court documents detailed the July 4th crash at the Kmart intersection. The suspect was heading north when he apparently ran a red light, hitting a another car that was turning onto Route 1. The driver and her three children injured and treated on scene. His arrest followed a more than one month long investigation from GPD's Highway Patrol Division. In court on Wednesday, Santos was released on a 5,000 PR bond. He was also ordered to stay away from the victims and told he could not consume any alcohol while on pretrial release. For the time being, Santos is scheduled to return to court on September 4th. Here's what some of our viewers had to say. A 45-year-old man is behind bars charged with stealing a food truck. Anthony Peter Perez said he was only helping his nephew when he was confronted by police. The trailer reportedly belonged to a Manila family, but was located in Dedido. The truck is valued at 13 grand. He's also accused of stealing $3,300 worth of items from the victim's garage. He's charged with burglary and theft, both as second-degree felonies, criminal trespass, and criminal mischief. Here's what some of our Instagram users had to say. On a happier note, big news for Guam's big boy in the NFL. Zach Banner will be suiting up in black and gold. He has now signed with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Here's what he posted on Instagram. Officially signed with the Steelers today, and I feel blessed and grateful for the opportunity to play for this organization, taking it day by day with my life, but I couldn't be happier, end quote. Congratulations, Zach, from all of us here at KOAM News and by your fans on social media. That's it for now. We'll see you guys next week.